Okay, so if you were watching the last video and recommended that I finish the video, let's get to it. What we learned in the last one was how to do this with the keys. Again, this is using canvas only. There is no DOM elements other than the canvas element. These are just key presses. Now, what we want to learn here is I want to hold the down arrow, and I want this to continue moving down. So, let's do how, see how we do that. Well, there really is no key down and hold listener. Sounds like a really good jQuery plugin to make, though. <clears throat> Maybe we'll do that later. But for now, what we're going to do is do a... When you hit down, <clears throat> we want to start an interval that runs every 10 milliseconds. And then when you, mount, when you key up, we want that interval to stop. Now, just like these variables, it's going to be a global listener. Okay? Which it probably doesn't have to be, but let's just do it anyway. We're going to call this um, holding. Okay? So what we'll do is when we key down, we're going to say holding equals set interval okay and we're gonna call a function we're gonna say um, we're gonna say do move and we're gonna pass it a function in it. we're gonna pass it a variable in a second every 10 milliseconds now what do we want to pass it inside of here okay we want to pass it the key code which is e dot key code well doing this doesn't work why because this is in quotes so we actually need to kill the quotes and then do that. Just like that. Okay? This will pass e.keycode into a function called do move. Well, do move is going to do this switch. So let's go ahead and delete this switch like that. And now that's done. And let's create a function called do move. And it's going to take a key code. Okay? And we're going to put our switch right there. Then we will back up our switch and say this is equal to key code and make sure our case is right lowercase c okay and now <clears throat> which is great but again this is going to do when we hold it so now we need to when I mount when I key up so now we need to do key up okay and that's going to clear interval holding right so clear interval holding is what we need to do because what's going to happen is this is going to set the interval and it's going to continually move while I'm holding and as soon as I key up I want this to stop okay so let's save and refresh and now I'm going to hold down and I'm going to let go there we go now I'm going to hold right and let go and I'm going to hold up and let go and there you go we have created a holding now so now I've got this kind of game thing and I can tap it of course I can tap it I can hold it I can go up, I can go left, I can, so uh, you get the idea. Anyway, so that's how you do key holding as well. And uh, I think we might have time, since that took no time at all, to go ahead and make a key holding plugin for jQuery. So let's go ahead and do that, actually. That would be really interesting. So let's, um, let's create a function here. And let's, um, let's, let's go ahead and do uh, $fn dot um, key hold equals a function and we're going to be passing in a callback okay so there's our plugin and let's see what we're going to do we want to say uh, var holding equals set interval okay and then we want that to be an anonymous function now right anonymous function and then well let's see what do we want anonymous function We'll write it out in a second. And that's going to be uh, every, right, so that's the end of the f set interval function, every 10. So now we've got an anonymous set interval function here. And that's going to be uh, our, our do move here. Well, we're going to call our callback, actually. And we're going to send it... Uh, So we're actually going to do the key down here as well. So, yeah, okay, that's what we need. That's where I'm missing. We need to do the key down. So call our key down. Right. So call our key down, and then we'll go ahead and... So up here we'll say var holding, because it needs to be outside. And then we'll say holding equals that, which is going to be anonymous, and it's going to call our callback and send it. So this is going to say um, var key equals e dot key code and they'll say callback key so we're gonna call the callback and send it key and then we're gonna say that and then we're gonna say dot key up now this is chaining the key down is a function 
uh, we don't care about the E, does that, and then we're going to say clear interval holding, right? I think that's how we want to do it. So now we've made, so let's, let's go ahead and get rid of that, and then I guess the goal here is that instead of doing these two, right, what we want to see is we want to do, um, well, it's really, so it's kind of being on the document. So it would be document dot key hold function. And then in that function is going to be our key because that's what our callback is. And then we want to do this. Oops. We want to do this. Oops. I think this is what we want. I haven't tried this before. Might even cut this out if it doesn't work. So there's our key. So we're doing key hold, and it does that. And that should do that. Let's see what happens. Okay, down. Oh, wow. That worked on the first time. Check that out. Okay, well, there you go. We have made a key hold jQuery plugin along with our key press. So here's a brand new plugin for you to use. There you go. All right, let me let me just explain this uh, a little bit more in depth because I didn't really get, do a good job while I was writing it. Uh, basically, we are we are opening our document dot ready, and we're creating a new plugin by saying dollar sign dot fn dot key hold equals a function, and we're gonna pass into the function a callback. What we're passing in right here is this. So this sorry this function where is it right there. This is not there this part. See that? That's what we're passing in. That function, anonymously function, is passing into this callback. Anyway, we're creating a variable called holding. The reason we're cre creating it out here is because it needs to exist outside of both of these listeners. Okay? Then inside of here, we're catching that E here because when we're inside of here, E doesn't exist. So out here, we're saying var key equals E dot key code. Okay, then we're saying holding, and actually, you know what we really should do to make this even better? We should make that be E, and we shouldn't even do that even. We should get rid of that all together and just call back E, and this should take in E, and this should switch E dot key code. So now we've made a real key hold listener, and let's test that one more time. Okay, that still works. So now, now our listener is exactly the same as the other ones. It, t it passes out E, which is the event. So that's actually pretty cool. So again, function, this is outside, this holding is outside because it needs to be referred to by both of these listeners. So we're key down, we've got that E, then we're setting our holding to that interval, and then we're putting an anonymous function into there, which is going to basically call our callback at that interval, passing it that E variable each time every 10 milliseconds, okay? Now the, the other thing we could do to make this even even better is we'll de we'll say um, we could say you know uh, time comma callback and then this ten would no longer be there and it'd be time so our function here would be ten comma function so a key hold is um, the listener and then function and actually if you want to be really good about this it wouldn't be there it would be after it it would be callback comma time because you're not always going to have the time and then um, Basically, what you want to do is have a default. So you would say, if not time, then time equals 10, just to be sure. Um, that way, if you didn't have it set, it would still work. Okay, but if you did have it set, whoops, oh, something's wrong. Nope, I'm okay. Okay, so that means if you didn't have it set, um, it would be fine like it is now. But what we can do is go ahead and set it. So after our function right here, we'll just set this to say, um, say we did uh, 1. It's going to move a lot faster now, or it's going to be the same speed. Uh, comma that. So maybe if I do a hundred, it'll be really slow. Yeah. Okay. So see how slow it is. I'm holding the key. It's going really slow. So now we've given ourselves the ability to pass in the interval, as well as the function. So that's all really cool. So here's our key hold function. Um, yeah. Callback passes the time chaining on the key up function and then when you key up we're going to clear that interval holding. So that's that's kind of how this plugin works for doing that key hold.